So we are getting ready again. Let's just me set up the things. There we go. Just gotta open the stream manager. And there we go. Hello and welcome everyone again to another Mind Colonies Let's Play with the developers stream. My name is Raycoms and I'm one of the main developers of this mod. And I believe one of the other developers is going to join me in in the course of the stream as well. Um, we are again at a... First of all we just had a new update. I just uploaded mere minutes ago to curse that includes a bunch of fixes and a few new features too um, the full change log we published uh, you can always find on github but we also had i also uploaded a more player readable change log to curse for anyone who is interested um, this version has some new stuff as well for once a few fixes related to the delivery man and the warehouse which should make that um, a bit more main, uh, maintainable and hi super minix solmus hi john and sad horizon how are you guys how's it going um, um, we are on Hi Minecraft Charlie, we also have a bunch of other things here. What is it? Um, new features, and that includes something we're probably not going to be able to try out in the stream. But we got two new workers coming, and there we have the concrete mixer worker, and we do have the rabbit hatch, which is going to create rabbit products. Um, oh nice, I also want to try that out in the future. Um, the country work worker finished coding today in the rabbit yesterday, so those should be working fairly nicely. And the concrete worker is going to craft concrete dust, and then the concrete worker is going to create out of the concrete dust is it concrete dust or is it concrete ah concrete powder it's going to create concrete powder and out of the concrete powder it's also going to create the concrete itself by placing it in the water and mining it so that was i've what i was finished coding today basically besides some other small fixes too i still hassling around with the internet oh it's pity to hear the rallying ba banner is not out yet. The rallying banner is still in review. There is some minor code things that have to be fixed yet before merging it. But that one is going to be merged this week for sure. It's the same thing for the reposition update is not out yet, but is going to be merged this week for sure as well. Let us check out our builders meanwhile. And those things behind me, the next steps um, are for once a few small bug fixes that I still want to get done. And after these bug fixes, I want to put some focus on continuing the rework of the skill system. And for that I can show you an example. For example, the delivery man has the main skills agility and adaptability. At the moment, what happens is that those two skills are added together, like agility level plus adaptability level, and divided by four to get a value between zero and 50. And that value we, de we then use to influence certain behavior of the worker, which is mainly the walking speed. However, our general idea is to have that each of the primary and the secondary skills, not the complementary skills, but the primary and the secondary skills, have 
direct influence on their behavior. So in that case, in the future, it would be that agility is going to influence the walking speed and adaptability, the pickup speed at the huts, for example. So the general idea is that then for each worker that would happen, for example, the knight would have the stamina defining the health and the other skill defining the m amount of damage. So that it's going to be a little bit more realistic. Um, okay, let me... Yes, you got the approval of uh, some add-ons. I'm, I'm still waiting for a final review um, until the... You got the tag-based review today, so there's a little bit of work you have to look into with the tag-based request that Orion gave you a, a review today. So I'm waiting for that to give a final review to the beekeeper too. Okay, let me just read what John wrote. You got a Japanese food mod that adds two recipes, which is onigiri and fish paste. But both are also ingredients for other foods. So if you teach the base recipe to the cook, will they make the other recipe? Yes, that works. That should not be a problem for the cook to make multi-step recipes. That already happens in the sawmill, for example. If the sawmill has, let's say, a stick recipe and a plank to stick and a log to stick recipe, the sawmill is going to request the logs to make planks, to make sticks, and then going to use the sticks together with planks to make um, fence posts, uh, fences, for example. So that should work. What's the problem of that, um, Minecraft Charlie? Wouldn't the stack type already be able to fulfill that? Oh no, the, the cook doesn't care about saturation. The cook only cares... Okay, now I, I get. The cook won't craft any recipe themselves. Even if you teach the cook any recipe, the cook doesn't care. However, who cares is the minimum stock. So if you teach those two base recipes and add the main food, that one you want, here in the minimum stock, like let's say, um, let it be rabbit stew, then the cook is going to take care of it. If you add that here in the minimum stock. Then the cook is going to request the ingredients and all these things it needs and is going to craft that. But only in that case. Um, yes. Ah, it checks all the tags the item is in. Ah. That's a good... And you want just one to request one tag. That's a, that's a good point. Hi, Ingerton. I can talk with that with Orion tomorrow. It's not a problem. That's, uh, that's true. I didn't think about that. I talked with Orion about this today. But I didn't think about what you just said. I can check with that on Orion tomorrow. That's easier. Eh, uh, for... Uh, uh, for the cook, no, the, now the one thing is that um, furnace recipes the cook doesn't know. The cook doesn't know furnace recipes. The only thing the cook knows is normal food recipes. And if the food recipe, so for example, if I want to have baked potatoes, I just request normal potatoes in a minimum stock. So the cook is going to request the normal potatoes and then is going to receive the potatoes, going to notice that the potatoes are cookable and is going to cook them. So for example, if the final result of the recipe you want to teach needs to go in the furnace, 
before being the final final you will want to request the one that is before entering the furnace and not the one after the furnace um, it's getting night already again and we're still kind of here waiting for our university level 4 that one is huge okay let me go there yes it would cause an infinite number of cooked potatoes well pointed out that's why you should turn that one off eventually like I did <laughs> else it truly does cause an infinite amount of po cooked potatoes so those that do not need cooking um, will be finite and those that are infinite you should probably turn out eventually Um, yes, I just I did set it up recently again Architect BMW that one did not work for some time in 115 But I fixed it around two weeks ago that you can set a forge stone tag again to get random ores. Yes No, that won't solve it either Um, possible, yes, probably. A bunch of work, probably, but possible. I'm going to check now to put my resource scroll to Chenny and set up the things. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Um, so I'm going to bring her a bunch of acacia things. Acacia planks and acacia stairs and oak stuff too. Don't, don't I have some? Ah, I got some oak with me. Yes, it's, it's the same config as uh, in the previous version. Um, oak trap door and oak sign. And some Adams just joined in too. Hey. Hi, some Adams. Um, teach recipe. Um, yes, teach recipe. Crafting table. Okay, now I gotta wait until Acacia would. Yes. No, that's the wrong Acacia blanks. <laughs> Okay, again. No. No. The tension is rising. Again, vertical. I'm going to get some acacia blanks to teach this recipe. Oh, Lord. <laughs> um, I'm going to request those here quickly. Acacia planks. Oh, probably logs better. Request a stack of those. Yes. Iron. Bring me those logs, please. Oh, that one was fast this time. Yeah, I have oak planks only. I wanted acacia planks, actually. There we go. Um, which cycling in the UI is not influencing the uh, addition button? Ah, oh, that's a school. I thought they were trapped outside somewhere. Okay. I don't want so many. Ten. It's fine. And then I can teach those and give how many more? A few more planks. So, a bit of it for stairs too. There we go. 24 stairs is fine. No way. Needs a lot of stairs. Okay. Oh, uh, buying a raid 
with 10,000 bits. Yeah, that would actually... I did check already for some Minecraft uh, integrations. However, I couldn't find any that would easily allow us to do something like that. Do you know any tools we can easily use for that? Or maybe just making our own one for a simple thing like that? But to be fair, maybe I can get Azure to make a chat chain integration for Twitch. That would be pretty awesome. If J cycles through various, it just means they're all applicable. Ah, does it? No, the plus button, using our GUI, the plus button takes always the one at the right pl place. That is, um, in our implementation, it's different than the traditional crafting bench. Because this one here ignores our inventory. Ah! I heard the Screeper. Where was it? As I'm Adams, you killed it? Yeah. Oh wow, that was just shocking me hearing that Creeper noise in the back. Okay, we need even more of those stairs. Um, yeah, so like I said, the next thing I'm going to work on is to kind of divide a little bit better what they use their resources for. Uh, there is you resist their skills for and then basically I think one of the most <laughs> requested features is going to be making the builder a bit more efficient and with that in the first step it's going to be dividing the re the amount of resources they need into buckets into steps and then not only requesting the next bucket already but always picking up all the items from that specific batch. A batch is probably a better word than bucket. So that is the upco uh, upcoming things then. I also had some general ideas, but that might need a little bit more thought to it. Like I wanted to do something like dividing the build steps a bit further so like in the first step the builder places all cobblestone um, all pla all logs in the second st uh, step it requires places all stone variants in the third step it requires the, it places the remaining remaining blocks something like that which makes the build progress seem a little bit more like a realistic build progress i think that would be pretty awesome Uh, for example, we could then place the lanterns last, for example, we can... All these kinds of things. Place fences, for example, last as well. Hmm. Yeah, that's, the, that's basically the problem. It depends a little bit on the style. So I would have to come up with a thing that is a bit more style universal. So I'm th looking through the buildings and see how it works. For example, this one here wouldn't only place the cobblestone in the first step and everything else would then be placed in the last step anyway maybe the planks first before placing um stairs but still it would um still turn out pretty fine i think ah i didn't know that i that is that is an easy fix just a lantern to schedule the lanterns together with the final blocks because lanterns are probably I don't know why but like Mojang lanterns are probably solid blocks and that's why they're placed early even though they shouldn't that is an easy fix what's a one minute fix in the code uh -huh. oh nice we made it over 1000 stream views now <laughs> another achievement we got 
Okay, I'm going to check out how Barnaby is doing. But in the town hall of ads and the side here, but it had logs in earlier styles. It was also work only in the initial building step, and afterwards it could look weird as well. So I would have to experiment around a little bit with different styles, different buildings, upgrading, etc. To see how that turns out actually. Barnaby is sick I guess. Are you? Or are you going home already? <laughs> yeah, that's something we actually talked about a little bit about. And it would not be very difficult to have something like a... I don't know, operator worker that just triggers a redstone signal or like is able to do buttons and levers and you can with a tool define when you want the worker to define to click certain buttons and levers it would be fairly easy to do hi iris chef how are you yeah the building could maybe define with a tag what's first and What's next? But that would be a lot of overhead data. I want to avoid that. It's a lot of extra data. It would make each style twice the size if we have a tag for each block position. Yeah. Like it would be relatively easy to define a specific block, probably. Like, ah, okay, that building has um, logs and cobble first. That would be maybe a little bit less overhead data. Um, I gotta sleep again. We're still without pirate raids for a long time. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> Some Adams is fairly disappointed. Yes. Maybe next time we see one, we get two boats. Oh no, please. I know we won't, probably, because we still didn't get two barbarian raids either. And we would have. Yeah. So, I'm still positive. <laughs> but maybe those, uh, those pirates are just combining all their forces to kill Barnaby. Only that. Poor Barnaby. Poor Jessica. Felix, Alice, and Isaiah. I still remember the names. Do you see? Okay. Oh, this one here can need an upgrade as well. I oh, know that's a farm. Didn't want to upgrade the farm. Yeah. I said, I said Alexandra at the beginning. Didn't didn't I? Poor poor Alexandra. Poor Margaret as well. 71. That is over. That's at a higher position. Where is this? A bit farther down here, the colony. 71 minus 174. Weird. I think something broke our guards. Something broke our guards, why? At least when I'm hitting them, they aren't attacking anymore. Because they are now in the same team, maybe. Ouch. I think I found a skeleton. <laughs> I'm sure if I found a skeleton or the skeleton found me. Where is it? Where are you? Nasty little skeleton. Okay, now they attack. Weird. Where is the skeleton? I can hear it. And it shot me while I was walking here. Is this some Adam's shield shooting me, maybe? <laughs> no, then you would be on fire. True. Okay, I found it, I found it. Hiding down here. Nasty skeleton. Killed it. Yeah, I found it too. 
was now I was hearing not sure if you guys were hearing that but I was hearing it in the headset that it was a skeleton I was hearing these bony noises yeah good idea I'm going to place some torches down there too that's a fairly easy place for mobs to spawn and hunt down our plantation workers too and it seems that here Mr. Parker is enjoying this place too so two reasons to light it up a little bit um, that should be fine better I don't get stereo either because currently my headset is broken only one side works still have to buy a new one don't you worry your pretty little head i'll take care of it penelope are you sick i guess she is i think she's walking to the hospital again let me guess the healer is stuck again isn't she or he yep yeah. Right, I'm already bringing the carrots with me. Did you fix that yet? God damn it. No, I, d I debugged it once. It seemed fixed. And yes. Yes, and someone the... has to f implement those icons. Icons? S someone has to implement those icons. Icons? That one, the person that asked an artist to make a whole set of icons and did not implement them yet. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> that someone has to implement them. But what far do you need them? To see when they're sick. You can use a comment to do that. Okay, you're stuck again. Okay, this time he has carrots, but he and dandelions, but not the other flower. What was its name again? Yeah. As a way, shouldn't they tell you when they are sick? Yes, mother. No, only if there's no hospital. So let me do um, potatoes and those here, poppies. So if you got a hospital, but no worker, but sick citizens, you don't know what they need. Yes, hire a worker. <laughs> potato, we need to. Puppies and potato. Okay, um, potato. Who's going to bring me potato? And, ah, compass I wanted. Did we get any compass meanwhile? No, not 10. No, don't think so. Maybe 10? Nope. No compass. I think our farmer is using it up when we get some. Yeah, I guess. I'm going to see if I can steal anything of the farmer quickly. What is no, no. None of the farmer either. Oh. Nope. The farmer doesn't have any. I need to bring that stuff to the healer quickly. Yeah. What's it today, then? There you are. Now you should be fine to healing those people. We got a bunch of people lying inside here. This oh yeah, our compost worker <laughs> is also sick. <laughs> yeah, there's no compost getting there then. And we got a we bunch of people are not sick. Hey, there are a bunch of people sick. But I'm hearing them getting healed now. So they should be fine, right? I can see if I can steal actually some compost now while the <laughs> composter is away. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure because there is a um a setting that certain workers get sick more likely. And I believe that I set it for most animal farmers. And I also think that I set it for the composter.
Um, no, there's no way to stop the farmer from requesting that. Yeah, there's 10 in the post box, that's why I'm going to store that, that's where I'm going to get it from. Put it here in my shocker box. I need 64. Okay, our builder, Barnaby, is back to the living again. Yeah, I have to debug the, the hospital. I'm going to download this world again after the stream. How, how big is this world actually? It's relatively big, it's like a gigabyte big. That's okay. Hey, it's not very big, but I think we could probably kind of cut it down to make it smaller. Yeah. But uh, it's around a gig. I'm going to download it and then I'm going to increase the sickness parameter to make them sick much quicker and I can probably see that how the healer gets stuck yeah. yes I could uh, but I still have to kind of I have to download it completely I'm too lazy to spend a long time my download speeds are fairly okay and because of Corona, this building is basically empty because all of the students are at home at their parents' house. So internet speed is fairly okay. <laughs> I don't have to divide my Wi-Fi at the moment. Only with my girlfriend. There we go. And we're still setting up the mod pack at the moment for the more vanilla like server. I think it's going to be a week and a half, two weeks until we have that ready. And maybe we're going to have this colony ready until then as well. So we can start a new series there then. What are you checking on? Some guard. Is the guard stuck or so? Yeah, he's standing at the ground and when I hit him, he just ignores it. Hmm, weird. So it's a bit weird. Yeah. I don't like those kinds of OP mods, so it's going to be fairly vanilla like without a lot of OP stuff. It's going to have terraforged biomes or plenty, quark, um, and storage drawers. Those it's going to have for sure already. Those are already defined mods. Mm. Oh, Gia answered your review. Uh -huh. Oops, here's the stream. Oh yes, we're going to ha Was this Young's Better Caves you sent me? Some add-ons? Uh, yeah, we also have a cave mod in it. Yes, I'm also getting bored of vanilla caves. Although I'm not sure which cave mods it was. <laughs> I don't think that Mojang is ever going to be smart enough to copy Mine Colony's pathfinding. <laughs> It's an open source. <laughs> Although we are open source, so... And uh, we are extending it to a library. 
and we are excluding and grading an extra library, but I don't think that they ever are going to make decent pathfinding. I don't think so either. Like, my hope that um, Mojang create does something to significantly improve entity code are more or less equal to my hope that uh, humanity is going to reach the climate goals until to 2025 <laughs> and it is sick very low very low oh those doors here are by the way broken they were broken so mob could have easily walked walked through it Uh, the better AI mod doesn't make it a lot better, I think. We experimented with that once, I believe. They also do like some some small things, but they don't do anything big. Like in terms of AI, I believe Mime Colonies and Performant, like Mime Colonies is probably the mod that has the most complex AIs of all mods, I would go as far, probably. Or do you know of any mod that could have a comparable AI with our Mind Colonies ones? Some add-ons. Um, I have a mod which has some AI, like ours. Like, mm. complexity-wise? None, I think. Uh, I wouldn't say. I would say AI wise, I think Minecon is the most complex ones. And in terms of AI improvements, maybe Performant is the ones with which makes the most impactful ones, at least in terms of lag. <laughs> yeah. A millionaire doesn't have very complex AIs, actually. Their AIs are very simple. Maybe the one that create, maybe the path making is probably the most complex one of Millionaire. But in general, they don't have any interaction between the villagers. And you, there's no real big building complexity either. So Millionaire doesn't have very complex AIs too either. Um, does Thaumcraft have any complex AIs? I haven't played Thorncraft in a long time. They had those golems which can carry stuff around, but it's yeah, it's... Not very simple tasks. And yeah. it's like the rats mod too. The rats mod has like very like two, three specific, very specific tasks too. Nothing very and interaction heavy. Have like ten tasks. Yeah, 15. Like we have sickness, we have um, hunger, we have sleeping, like there's so many different behaviors. And there's uh, Tectopia, but that one is like, as far as I heard, fairly broken. Yeah, and abandoned. And what? Abandoned um... already? Abandoned. He really abandoned it already. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if he did say it officially, but after the hype was over, there is no more updates since mid last year or so. Yeah, it's classic YouTuber. It's like, oh, I, I had a nice yeah. project. Now I'm yeah. not going to get any views out of those videos anymore. People noticed it's broken as fuck as hell. <laughs> so. Since it's very broken and would, it's because it's balancing these mods with these uh, AIs is very difficult. And he already went in a way to make it much simpler. Like without a delivery man, every worker goes to the storage themselves. Um, um, the miners don't create complex shafts like ours. He already went out of the way to make, or not out of the way, he already made sure to make it less complex, the AIs. Like our miner is like super complex, creating those complex underground structures. That's a fairly complex task, right? Building horizontal and vertical shafts and these kinds of things.
So we really go out of a way to make things more complex for us too. <laughs> yeah, we are not great in that. You need a shovel, I can give you that. I do think you're strong enough. Weekends again. Oh. Yeah, basically, exactly. They usually try to make things as easy as it's possible for themselves. Uh -huh. We need to double check our guard towers if we have people assigned to them. Uh -huh. Oh, that one is missing. Was missing some people. Barracks. Also. Oh, we lost some guards in the last raid, right? Because I derped a bit. Here. Higher. Okay, nice. So. ARS M Magica 2. More complex than mine colonies is at the moment. Yeah, I didn't pull enough aggro for them. That's exactly. Like, we got the research system, which is already more complex than most mods already are. Although. I believe that especially when we got the economic system and trading with the trading and quest system ready, I'm sure that I can then say guaranteed we are the most complex mod out, out there. <laughs> yeah, probably. Right now there are some fairly complex mods, like I said, Thaumcraft. There are some fairly complex mods out there. So it's difficult to say that we are in general the most complex mod, but we are one of the most complex mods. But with that, we probably would uh, go up there. Although as far as I read, the vision of the Terraforged team is very ambitious too. They also want some super realistic, super complex stuff too. I had uh, with one of the developers a chat yeah. these days. Yeah, let's see how long they take. <laughs> it's not like we don't have plans till 2035 either. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. There's that too. Yeah, the idea of the research system is to go after the, um, those kind of systems. I know, um, Age of Empires, like the main thing I had in mind was more like Age of Empires, to be honest. <laughs> That's what I had in times in, in, in mind in terms of research system. But since I didn't want to restrict it yet in terms of um, cultures, that's why you have to choose one level 6 research basically. Maybe in the future we're going to have certain cultures um, have certain level 6 research enabled and others not. That is certainly a possibility. <laughs> you, you, you're thinking that's a joke but... Um, some Edens is actually thinking about enabling sailing with ships somehow. Northwest raid again. Barbarians again. Uh, I need to run to the bad quickly. Yeah, it's less, that's why I said it's less civilization based. It's more like, thanks for the letters. It's more based on um, research. Uh, on like 
Yeah, like I said, like um, Age of Empires. Like research is kinda also for ages, but there's a big part of the research that is about other things, right? About general improvements. Yeah. Oh, did you ready our guards? Yes, I oh, did. Yeah. We got away. <laughs> they already forgot. Okay, Zamedans. Some people forget, forgave you now for the pirates for making sailable ships. Sailable <laughs> ships, no problem. Yeah, what that? Are they coming? No. I made some barbarians. I'm dying. <laughs> I made some barbarians hover quickly. If you die, our, our guts went off. Exactly. <laughs> That's, bad. That's very bad. Oh. Ouch. Now I'm really almost dead. Oh. oh. The chief is after me. Not good. Help me. Wink. Not gonna fire me over that one, are you? Did we kill them all? Oh, one of them landed on the tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, some of them are here somewhere down here, stuck. Where are the remaining ones? Ah, they're here. Kill them! Oh, one of our knights died. Yeah. I can help you with that. Oh, it's here. Ethan, for example, has a full inventory of stuff now. Three shields, two sets of armor, <laughs> two swords. And now, guys, you can go home. Here. Good job. <laughs> yeah, now they are all dead. They were here in this little area here. Their pathfinding got stuck, probably. I'm going to follow our guards up the hill because they know best where the easiest way is to walk back. <laughs> I think none of them at the moment care anymore about getting hit. Yeah, I think they all walk back. I think it's because of the team stuff. They're all now in the team. Oh, that might be true. That's why they don't detect it. Um, Give them another interface. Yeah, it's something we have planned. But it's fairly... Nah, using Minecraft interface code to allow them to have um, armor slots. That's why I didn't get to it yet. It's a super hassle and I want to avoid it under all costs. So that's why I'm waiting still Yeah. before doing that. Well, we can always have some... places like an additional inventory slots where you go or can only place armor and such and we could do but something like using part of the 
normal inventory. Yeah, we could just use like slots one to four are four armor slots yeah. reserved. And maybe five four tools or so. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's also possible. And then we can also armor or inventories. No, there's none none left here. They all went home. Good. However, that would also not like it's everything has their downsides, right? While it would help on one hand, on the other hand, that would kind of be weird because you can't put items anymore in those slots. Yeah, I think we need to display them as additional slots. And then... and we could probably render those icons like it does in. Minecraft. Yeah. Oh, this legs, these legs have curse of binding and mending. I guess I'm never going to take those those off ever again. <laughs> well, you can uh, not get any experience, and they don't repair. Yeah, I can fight and not get any experience, and they repair. <laughs> Uh, do they yeah, leave when I die? die? Over and over. Do they? I thought those curse of binding means they're even going to stay with me when I die. Yes, yeah, they stay with you when you die, but your armor loses durability when you die. So yeah. you die often enough till your item breaks and then it's gone. Oh, great. That sounds like the perfect alternative. Going to do that. Hi Pablo, there's no help comment yet. Oh, I saw today that we can make counter comments. I was going to set up the so counter comment. Ah, they drop when I die, so that's at least a way to, lo to lose it. I'm always unsure about these new um, curse stuffy thingies. Here, Barnaby, taking the train back to work. Actually, he takes two drains. Sometimes, oh. not today. Now Barnaby needs another power rail, rail and stone button. Weird. And it's because they broke during the construction. Ah, yeah, makes sense. Yeah, I got the grave mod. But I could only die with that one item and then ignore that grave that would work. Um, I think forged stone is enough. But don't uh, don't take my entire my word guarantee for that. You would have to try it out. I can't guarantee it. Thomas, how are you Let's doing? Dig this hole out. Um, what is it? Yeah, there don't seem to be any progress. I'm going to see what he's up to. What, put my stuff in a chest and let some addons kill me to lose those pants? Nah, that's not worth it. I won't give him the satisfaction. You're one story higher, right? Okay. Oh, I can kill you easily when I want to. Ah, okay, that's... Is that why you're stuck? Oh. Good that you stopped walking, because else I would have fallen into the lava. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have some more... Oh wow, that was close. <laughs> He's tunneling here in this huge lava pit. He's going to tunnel through okay. it. He's basically going to fill that area here in. Hey, 
And I like those quark lava lakes underground as well. They give like the like one of the things I'm still like that's for me the next thing Minecraft would have to fix is um, not just some like after the Nether. I think the underground area is the next thing that needs some fixing because it's getting kind of boring underground. Yeah. Yeah, I think cave update is probably is definitely the next thing. Yeah, we've been waiting for years for that. That's something right away. And every yeah. time some Mojang asks people like, "What do you want next?" Everyone's like, "Caves, caves, caves!" And Mojang like, "Do you want mountains?" And everyone like, "No, caves!" And they're like, "You want mountains, do you?" <laughs> oh, oh, one of them trade us. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, you want mountains? Do you want panda beers? No, we want cave update. Pandas it is. <laughs> <laughs> and we still don't have good mountains, yes. Didn't they say like something like mountain or something update either in 116, wasn't it? There was this poll, wasn't there? I remember for 1.15 they said they were going to do a big performance upgrade. Oh yeah, they did more... No, at least, to be honest, the chunk rendering got better. And yeah, I think they improved some of the rendering stuff, and that was all. They did a good rendering performance upgrade that uh, that we have to to let them. And Yeah, after they killed it with 1.14. <laughs> <laughs> and even Forge people were like, now 115 rendering stuff is like incomplete, but it makes sense. And as far as I heard, in 116, part of this rendering stuff is going to continue. Yes, mount ah, mountains is 117. Ah, okay. I thought it was for 116. Uh, compared to 114, 115 was definitely much better, that's true. Also in terms of performance. But it's like easy, it's like you destroy one version so badly that you can call the next one performant update, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you just fix one or two things you work on. It's like, oh, did we just add fish Doesn't that need 80% of server performance? We can add the fix that as a major upgrade in the next major version. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, the, what, what did they call this bountiful update, didn't they? It was also announced a few times and never delivered on. And they had like, they even had a deadline for that and then ended up even canceling the deadline. What what was the percentage here? 41, so he's progressing. Yeah. With a sword, right? Fish hunting with a sword. That's how Minecraft intended it. <laughs> Works great. <laughs> yeah, at least with the trident, it is somewhat realistic, but still, like I have to say, the water, the water update was a good idea, right? I think the shipwrecks and the loot is overpowered. Like, you can play mm. on a server for at two hours and you break the economy completely by going after... I love the smell of fresh timber. By going after these things. Weekends again. Oh. What can I do for you? Yeah, it's so much iron, emerald, lack of the sea, all kinds of things. That's getting nerfed in 116. Ah, that's good. Because I found that very overpowered, definitely. 
Oh, here, I'm going to help you. What can I do for you? How's the work going? Wahoo, this looks fantastic. Did you dump What's some? Next? Yes! I'm Wahoo, slowly getting enough. Fantastic. What's next? Are there no seeds left in the warehouse? What kind of saplings did you... I didn't turn on on those. Okay, let's get started. So. Yeah, I think the the part of putting things in the water was a great idea and similarly and similarly the channel water mechanics even though it's kind of still broken like there are some things you can build with the water that make absolutely no sense at all but i still think it's a decent improvement and we have really out of seats in the warehouse <laughs> mm. ah it's oh, because compost uh, must have taken all yes let me see if have a chicken here. Um, I wanted to check. Do I have any compost? No. Okay. Yeah, the no. iron golem farms. It's also one of the things that. But they're nerving those as well, aren't they? And I read that they're trying going on going to reduce automatic farms quite a bit. Now it's here in my shocker box. 57. So I'm getting close to having enough. But they're also going to reduce those automatic farms. Like I don't care much about those f fishing farms and these kinds of things. Even though the amount of books you can get is absolutely absurd too. Yeah. But I think the iron golem farms are the worst. In terms of, because iron is actually something that is always useful. What is it? But it's also, of course, for. <sighs> oh, zombie farm iron too, I swear. Oops! Did I just put my baked potatoes all in the compost barrel? <laughs> Fail. <laughs> <laughs> my baked potato. Gwen, I need baked potato, please, Gwen. She's gonna ask what happened to the old ones. Yeah, exactly. Like villager door, like villagers is like very broken, very very broken. Yeah, but it's kind of like heavy. Or these villager farms, I really hate too. Talking about it. Like those things you smelled villagers and the trading and these kinds of things is very overpowered too. I never liked that either. Oh, we're getting out of potato. I'm going to request here two stacks of potato to start making, filling out the potatoes here again. Oh! Making bamboo compostable. That's actually a pretty nice idea. Let me check how much sugar cane we have, by the way, in the warehouse. That must be overflowing. Sh no, 72. That's not a lot. I guess the school must be consuming a decent amount of paper then. Yeah. Or our yes, comp uh, plantation worker is sick all the time. <laughs> and he was sick for quite a time too. That's true. Okay, more shovels, and there Maybe, you yeah. go. Oh. Let me check how much bamboo we have. How much bamboo do we have here in the warehouse? A thousand? And how much cactus? 157, so I think it's the sickness part. <laughs> Of the plantation worker. Yeah. So Thomas <laughs> is needing something. What is it? So. A pickaxe. Okay. I can help you with that. Mm, 
na yes they get not not that they get paid but they don't have to pay rent nor i can help you with that nor um for food so they kind of don't have to worry to lose their jobs during sick days either they don't have to worry about losing their jobs either way they like working they complain about not working and contributing to their society yeah, yeah isn't that nice yeah bamboo is a little bit overpowered too like i would enjoy kind of if bamboo kind of had this thing of how would i say it like it grows quickly but it starts draining um, humidity out of the ground because it grows so fast yeah it would be cool to have some water upgrade on minecraft where you really make water flow and run out and such yeah finite water yes yeah, it's probably set in the big water upgrade instead of adding five fish. <laughs> yeah, the fish, like I kind of get it because it makes it look a bit better in game, yeah, you right? You can render some <laughs> to render. <laughs> yeah, you... to be f to be fair, yes, that would probably in making the AI only client side and only rendering them, that would probably be the smartest decision. Yes, I agree. Yeah. Since I have no real functionality in the way. It's getting night. I'm going to sleep in that guard tower there. There we go. Sleepy sleep. Still had no pirate raid. Still no pirate raid, yes. But you tested raids and got pirates, right? Yes. I was uh, like manually triggering, triggering a lot of raids and I got all kinds of raids. What can I then do it for just you? working. It, it should be working. Unlucky. I think we're kind of lucky. <laughs> yeah, the comment uses the very same raid function. <laughs> the normal raid through. I, I think it's because um, probably of our guard towers getting level 4 yeah our guard towers close to the water and they're those the island game. guard towers that were upgraded to level 4 I oh. think they probably helped a decent amount yeah I wanted to check if the range is maybe too big for the guard towers um, we could also maybe like if we hang around at night, like not at night, but at nightfall, closer to the desert area, it will also move the loaded chunks more in this direction, right? Make it more likely for a pirate raid okay. to be successful. Hi. Um, dum -de dum. Yeah, we're getting there. And we got a guard here assigned. Yes. It's like, uh, citizens are like with cats, you know? It's when you have a similar smell, yes. they identify you as part of their colony. So I'm kind of making sure that I sleep in every bed in the colony, so they kind of identify my smell. <laughs> this is a man that is dying here. <laughs> Did you do that in real life as well? <laughs> I do this. All, all houses I visit, I, sl I nap an hour in their in people's beds, just to so they can assimilate to my smell. <laughs> Infiltrating. <laughs> I need to check on what our school is doing. Um, 
Jennifer is doing fine, it seems. Still excavating the part for the archery, but it's progress. We got a bunch of kids sitting here around in school. And not all of yeah. them have paper. And some aren't kids, but are stuck. Yes, sir. <laughs> really? Nathaniel and Ray yeah, are stuck? What can I do for yeah, because they are getting too... Sitting. Did you and try recalling them? It's not working. So they go up, are stuck, and stay stuck. Did you try recalling them? Mm, I'm not sure where they are. I had. Hey, in the town hall. Yeah, I'm going, going to recall all now. Nah, I'm going to recall that one worker quickly. Too late. All? Ah! The masses! Doesn't hurt to do that once in a while, anyways, in case someone else is stuck. True. Wherever. So we see here. Ah, uh, small other update. Yes, we now have a Fletcher model <laughs> that is going to be released soon. So we have custom models for the Fletcher, and we have custom models for the mechanic worker as well. And one little awesome detail of the mechanic worker. The mechanic worker is going to put on a mask when working, when crafting, like those mechanic masks you use to protect your face. No, no sparks yet, but it's something we could add as well, some spark mechanics. While the mechanics working. Yeah. And he he the crafters always wield the i the items they're using for crafting, so that is one thing definitely. <laughs> Our kids from level wise six intelligence eleven. That's nice. How are you doing? Oh, you got some paper requested? Okay. Let me check out how... <laughs> that would be... <laughs> if you use a lot of redstone, the mechanic is going to light slightly red. <laughs> nah, redstone is fortunately not plutonium. Good enough, eh? Oh, please. I so it seems that request here is stuck. I'm going to cancel the request in the school. I'm going to re restart it. Jump. Ah, fail parkour again. Uh, radioactive, that's the word I was looking for. If you say so, I could help you with that. Yeah, we got some in the warehouse too. Yeah, it's... I would say probably the most... Let's say realistic assumption would to say that redstone is more like quartz. That has like some kind of... Electri electric... Capabilities. And yeah, probably the best explanation to it. Yeah. But it's not radioactive because else the player would be damaged from wielding or getting close to it too. What do you need now? Okay. The train is sometimes too fast. <laughs> ah, I'm trying to run after Jenny. Tell me, what do you need? Yeah. Shovels, more shovels. I'm going to take care of that. I used to play a bit with industrial craft in the past, yes. What? Uh, we had I some sick uh, radioactive generators and these kinds of things set up Whoa, as well. This looks fantastic. What's next? Here you go. <coughs> hmm. 
Yeah, I made a bunch of stone shovels. I'm not going to waste iron on that. We got a like, getting low on iron again. How are we with iron? Almost empty? I, your connection is bad again, I think. Iron. And I have 302 ingots. So we are fine with iron. <laughs> the word is cube shaved. But the radioactivity would. Like, we could say that entities are cube shaped because of radioactivity creates mutation. And maybe we can say that for trees and plants as well. But we can see that those plants are not cube shaped. And blocks wouldn't be affected by radioactivity, right? Radioactive? What is radioactive? Actually, yes, there is um, House of Doggers. There is a minimum stock option on the last page of the warehouse. Ah, red IO active. <laughs> now I got it. Um, there is an option in the last page of the warehouse <coughs> where you can assign a minimum options. What? Red beds aren't in it. That's impossible. Let me ch check that out. It should be in it. If not, that's a bug. Let me check that out. Some add-ons you have to run now to the water if you want for a chance to, for it to spawn. What is it? Bed. Red. You're telling me that all beds are... No, here. Red bed. It's here. Red. Hey, it's not here on search. But if you search for bed, it's here. Hmm. Ah, it's because it's red bed. Yes. Yes. Yep, no pirate raid. Maybe I'm talking too soon. There's still 20 seconds of chance. Mm, I think our last wait isn't long enough. Because... Yeah. We could probably remember we had a to see if we can. Oh, no, I can't really hear you right now. What did you say? Ah, uh, yeah, I can't remember either. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> no, no. It, it's because some, like I said already, some Adams is actually the devil. And he has like a speaking module that allows him to speak. And sometimes the speaking module malfunctions and causes that. So he has to restart it to be able to talk again. Because else he would look, he would sound very evil and he doesn't want us to, to hear that he actually sounds super evil. And uh, don't let you guys uh, fool yourselves by him writing about l low latencies, uh, high latencies either. So I'll just excuse this. So it is getting late again and I'm going to have to get offline. Thanks everyone for joining in. If you enjoyed our stream, consider following us here 
or even uh, subscribing if you want to support our mod development we also have a patreon um patreons get access to our servers and soon we're going to play have these let's plays on the patreon server as well um mm. if you want to hear more about our mod you can either go to our website or join our discord where we regularly update everyone about um, our latest updates and developments you can f find everything we're working on on github basically and for everything else i'm going to see you guys tomorrow then thanks for tuning in and ciao ciao